Well, the activist old media is hitting an all-time low. Quite an accomplishment for them. Hi, everybody. I'm Ron Futrell with Liberty.com. Well, what do you know? The same media that didn't care much about what Barack Obama did during the first 46 years of his life when he was running for president, oh, except they did tell us he was a community organizer, is now in full-scale sprint to find out what Republican candidates did as kids. Christine O'Donnell, for example, she's running in Delaware against a guy named Chris Coons, who once wrote an article for his college paper about becoming a bearded Marxist. His words, not mine, okay? But the media wants to know what she did in high school. So, what did you do in high school? <laughs> Let's put it out there as you run for major office in America, okay? What did you do in high school? Let's see, in the 70s, I had friends who were pot smoking and who were streaking and doing things like that. I even had some friends who, well, these are all friends, mind you, not me, these are friends, who uh, broke into Dodger games, LA Dodger games, without tickets. I would never do things like this, of course, because I may run for office someday, but friends of mine did stuff like that, okay? Um, I wonder what Barack Obama did during his high school days or his college days. Anybody know? Now, for the first time in the modern age of all this information that we have out there, all of a sudden, we don't know what the President of the United States of America did during his younger years. Hundreds of media swarmed tiny little Wasilla, Alaska to find out everything and anything they could about VP candidate Sarah Palin during the campaign, but the same media had a difficult time finding Honolulu, Columbia University, Harvard Yard, or the south side of Chicago to ask a question or two about what Obama did that made him worthy of becoming king of the free world. By way of example, here in Nevada, the media seem to care more about what Sharon Angle says about reforming Social Security than trying to figure out how Harry Reid's policies could lead to the destruction of Social Security. Now, some of this, of course, is expected when a Republican runs for office. We understand that. We know what the media is all about. But delving into the high school antics hits an all-time low. By order of disclaimer here, I should mention, while in high school, my football team went 0-8-1, okay, one year. As a joke, they did, or we did, a, a gag on the senior mall where they, we, dressed as, as girls. There may have been some comments that were considered homophobic at the time. Well, to any future candidate that I may run against, or I want to let you know, I had no role in the planning or scripting of this event or in the production thereof. There may be photos, too, I'm just warning you, okay? And, and who am I kidding here? I'm finished. My political career is over. It's done. I have no shot at a political career now. Unless, of course, I want to run for president as a Democrat. That's the way I see it. I'm Ron Futrell with Liberty.com. <laughs>